Okay, so here we are. Once again, How to Build a Swale, Part 3. A diverting issue. Now we are looking at the work area, the work side area of where they keep their little excavator, which looks really nice. And over there we have the long view lookout, which is also very nice. And of course we have their work office. And we can even see the TV aerial on top to keep them occupied when they're not working. And also we can see it's decorated in a la mode trash. And uh, the little loo is at the back. And so what we have here is a very imposing edifice, edifice rex. Now we go across the road to the long view south access through to the Halloran Park. And this swale will now go through here and look. There is water already and we don't even need a swale for it, for it to come down. So we walk up here to where our bushfire brigade is very handy with their uh, little uh, trolley of things. And we see what they have done. And we look from over the fence and we see, ah, this is what was there before. So in an, an entire two weeks, they have managed to keep everything the same like this. And we see that there's the water and we see what they've done. They've put a fence up. Now this is the playground and this is the area that's still very wet. And we look at the sand around the playground edge and go, well, what do you know? It looks like they've been digging up here, but it looks like pets or animals, native animals digging up in the sand. And now we can see that we have a little bit more work done. Oh, look, there's water still down there in the sand. And we see that this has been here so long that there's grass growing out of the top of the pole. And we look down and we can see that they've done, um, that they've done, they've uh, done, uh, um, uh, not really much by the look of it. So we walk along and let's have a look at the sand around the playground. And yes, it's all being dug up by dogs or wild kangaroos and possibly an elephant or two. And we're looking, yes, this has been very constructive for the playground. And let's go and have a look and see if there's any water still lying around. Well, what do you know? There is. So we go for a little splash and uh, dance in the water there. Yes, there we are. That's, that's, that's good and deep. Must be a new pool that's going in. So we walk around and we keep looking. With all this uh, water lying around, it just proves that it's obviously not running anywhere, that it's held in place by the solid sandstone underneath. But we have a look at our track, that's pretty much the same. And we have a look over here, and oh, it looks like they stuck a pole in the ground, which is really quite interesting. So for two weeks, this is what they've done. Stuck a couple of poles in the ground and put up a fence. Now we have a look at the gate and we go, hey, what's this? Gee whiz, do you think the, they didn't want anyone to get in? Or is this where uh, the new love locks are going to go that a couple of councillors suggested would be really a great tourist attraction? But by golly, they sure didn't want anyone to open this gate. So don't forget to keep an eye out for How to Build a Swale Part 4. What is really the cost of this fiasco? Thank you.